Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this course, we will try to develop the understanding of chemistry for the student of material sciences, starting from fundamentals that elements, classification of elements, matter, classification of matter, chemical equilibrium, hydrocarbons, chemistry of metals, polymers, metallurgy. Furthermore, we will um, furthermore we will discuss the analytical methods and techniques, especially spectroscopy, chromatography, electrochemical methods, and thermal methods. Importance of materials. Materials are important features of engineering design. Materials are an important features of engineering design. Quality of products is extremely important due to competitive business. Quality of product depends upon type of materials, engineering design, and processing technology. Therefore, the importance of materials and their design cannot be undervalued. Materials have not been presented well in the courses of schools and colleges. Therefore, it becomes necessary to highlight the importance of engineering materials for all engineers. There is extensive diversity of materials available which have shown their potential in a range of engineering fields. Selection of materials usually depend upon their characteristics and their specific applications. Therefore, it is a challenge for designer to select an optimal material which is suitable for the specific design requirements. Usually, new materials are developed by the intrinsic or extrinsic modifications. An intrinsic modification, minor alloying or heat treatment is carried out. In extrinsic Modification, external reinforcements are added to the parent material, which alter its properties in order to meet the specific design requirements. The modification is usually done to improve the properties of existing materials. Therefore, it is important for all engineers and students of material sciences to have a fundamental understanding of the existing materials and their processing techniques. Chemical research and development have provided us with new materials which improved our quality of life. For example, polymers, ceramics, coatings, liquid crystal, for example, LED. Electricity is carried by copper cables which are not perfect conductors. About 20% of electric electrical energy is lost. This is a tremendous waste. Superconductors are materials that have no electrical resistance and can therefore conduct electricity with no energy loss, for example, levitated trains. Chemists have help to design and synthesize new materials. In future, superconductors being applied on a large scale in magnetic resonance imaging and nuclear fusion. If we had to name one technology which advances or shape our lives is the information technology. The engine that drives the ongoing computer evolution is the microprocessor. The performance of microprocessor is judged by the speed with which it carries out mathematical operations. The quality of any microprocessor depends on the purity of the silicon chip and the ability to, to add the desired amount of other substances. Chemists and material scientists play an important role in the research and development of silicon chips. Scientists have begun to explore the prospect of molecular computing which will replace silicon with molecules. Matter Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass, for example, water, earth, trees, air. Everything in the universe has chemical connection. We can distinguish among several subcategories of matter depending upon their composition and properties. 
The classification of matter includes substances, mixtures, elements and compounds. Substance is a form of matter which has definite composition and distinct properties, for example water, or coal, oxygen, ammonia. Mixture is a combination of two or more substances in which the substances retain their distinct identities, for example air, soft drinks, milk and cement. Homogeneous mixture in which the composition of the mixture is the same throughout. For example, sugar dissolves in water and heterogeneous mixture is the mixture in which the composition is not uniform. For example, iron fillings mixed with the sand. Heterogeneous mixture in which the composition is not uniform. For example, iron fillings mixed with the sand. Whether homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture, these can be created and then separated by physical means into their pure components without changing the identities of the components. Element is a substance that cannot be separated into simpler substances by chemical means. Element is a substance that cannot be separated into simpler substances by chemical means. Compound Compound is a substance composed of atoms of two or more elements chemically united in fixed proportions. Unlike mixtures, compounds can be separated only by chemical means into their pure components. State of matters All substances at least in principle can exist three states – solids, liquids and gas. Substances are identified by their properties as well as by their composition. Physical properties can be measured and observed without changing the chemical composition or identity of a substance, for example, melting of ice. Chemical properties is a property or characteristic of a substance that is observed during a reaction in which the chemical composition or identity of the substance is seen, for example, combustion, burning, or boiling of egg. Physical properties of matter fall into one or two additional categories extensive properties and intensive properties. Extensive properties depend on how much matter is being considered, while intensive quantity is one whose magnitude is independent of the, of the size of the system. For example, we have two beakers containing water at the same temperature. If we combine them to make a single quantity of water in a large beaker, the temperature of the larger quantity of water will be the same as it is in two separate beakers. Thank you. Stay clean, stay safe, stay home. Like and subscribe our channel for more videos. Take care. Allah Hafiz.